Thank you for joining me for MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're talking about radial position control techniques, or weld orientation. So I have two parts that when I'm done welding, I want to orient radially one part relative to the other. So we've demonstrated this by welding two hexes and orienting the flats relative to each other. Usually our customers want this controlled within plus or minus half a degree, out of 360 degrees of full spindle rotation. So we accomplish this by running a standard weld. In this case, we're looking at an inertia weld. So at the time that the weld seizes, we need to understand what the position is uh, of the spindle. We create a profile of spindle position from the start of the weld all the way through the end of the weld over time. And we use that profile to generate an error signal for future welds so that we can close the loop. We close the loop using torque. So by adding torque, we can catch up with a spindle position that might be lagging behind, or we can use negative torque or braking in order to slow down that spindle position relative to the profile. So by calculating where I need to be, I can tell where I need to start, I can execute the entire weld, and then any part variations that I might have coming in that would make this part different than our profile, we can adjust by adjusting torque in closed loop. So I end up with a very responsive system. I can get very repeatable results out of this, and I can apply this technique to inertia, direct drive, or hybrid friction welders. Thank you for joining me for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on this topic or other friction welding solutions, please visit our website at mtiwelding.com.